Everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So today I wanted to talk about the soul and um, what the soul is. And uh, just go into the soul. All right. So let's get into this. So the soul is is pretty much light. Okay, the soul is um, environment. The soul is sound. Sound and light are one and the same. They're both frequency. Uh, sound is light, but on a dense wave, right? Or um, a denser vibrational rate. So uh, everything is energy, electromagnetic energy, consciousness. And um, <clears throat> the soul is, is light, it's the sun, right? But it's also spirit, but they're not one, they're one and the same, but uh, they're different in dimension, right? Uh, so obviously they're, inter they're, they're pretty much, um, they're one and the same, but they go by different names because they're different in degree, I want to say. Um, so the soul is a uh, is sun, you know, soul in, in Spanish, it's the sun. So the soul is the sun. Uh, so this has to be the light, right? Uh, which is also sound. Sound and light are one and the same. Sound is the... the um, the densified vibrational rate of light, right? So you can come into light, but you can go beyond light, right? Uh, into higher and subtler energetical um, wavelations, right? Or even uh, vibrational rates. So the, the vibrational rates, they keep, uh, they keep getting subtler and subtler. So <clears throat> then you can slowly get into something metaphysical. Um, the more that you go beyond beyond the soul, which is spirit, right? So th there's soul and then there's the spirit. Um, spirit is obviously beyond the, beyond the soul. Uh, and the soul, it, it pretty much, uh, it, it serves as like kind of like a filtration for the, the spirit's pure purity of energy because the, the purity of, of the spiritual energy can do damage to the physical body and mind. So uh, the soul is is to pretty much um, keep all that in check, you know. So, and obviously we use the word soul in our language, you know, a lot. Um, and this is... <clears throat> This is because um, we're sounding it out. We're only sounding out the word because we're using it on a uh, subconscious level, you know, one which has uh, submerged itself a little deeper so that it can be uh, used in deeper dimensions. The soul is the environment, right? So, uh, <clears throat> The spiritual energy is a very good thing, but it can also damage the physical body and the mind in a way where the, the physical body and mind can be completely eradicated, you know, in the in the eternal spirit. So what the soul it will do, it'll kind of be like a mediation type of entity or mediation type of uh, nexus, right? Where... Uh, where you can be in the soul, 
and you can connect yourself with spirit, but you won't dissolve completely away, you know, uh, into non-existence, spirit, um, which is also all existing, all existence, right? So, so the soul is light, it's sound, um, and sound and light are one and the same, okay? Uh, the soul is the environment because everything is light. Everything is energy. Everything is sound. Um, so the moment that you start getting in tune with the sound of the body, because uh, there's a body that is sound, you learn, or it's sound, um, tonal resonance, you can slowly start uh, connecting yourself with the soul, uh, which you already connected to the soul. But you can also come into disconnected states or, or seemingly disconnected because there's no disconnection in reality. Um, and this is what you would use the, the purification of uh, spiritual energies for to, to enlighten you or purify these different types of uh, corrupting factors, you know. Uh, and you can do you can you can dive completely into it, but you're not gonna you're not gonna live you're gonna die if you are able to do that, you know because it destroys the body and the mind it no longer exists at the point of uh, complete immersification in spirit, so the soul is there to kind of uh, I want to I would want to say dim it dim the light the eternal light. Right, so that uh, we're able to to withstand it. Otherwise, we burn. We burn away. Right. Uh, so. So uh, basically, the soul. Once you are able to uh, go into the or or connect yourself with the soul and go deeper into it, you can start to connect yourself with spirit. Um, even more, right? And the more that you're able to do that, the more that you are slowly going to cease to exist. But uh, but that's a good thing, you know. Um, let me see. It's hard to explain because it's very complex, right? Uh. But let me see, you can go deeper into the soul, you know, um, you can, I would want to say get, get into knowledge on self or, or just self-education, connect yourself with the universe, <clears throat> this, the source, and to use the purifying energy, the, pur the, the total purifying energy of spirit that source uh, allows you to connect yourself with as a body and a mind entity. And um, then you can kind of, you can kind of uh, work with it from there, you know, it kind of subjects itself if you are uh, intent on it, because this is the way the soul works. It's like, it's, it's taking the, the purity of energy and it's, uh, it, it's creating art out of it. And the soul is going to display it through its art form, right? Uh, and that's the filtration. Because spirit... Spirit is... Uh, it ceases to exist. It doesn't exist. Because God doesn't exist. Spirit and God are one and the same. Consciousness is non-existence. Uh, so it needs something to, to be aware of, right? Uh, so then it's aware of its own energy that has been, uh, let's say densified, right? Which the soul is here to, to densify it for, uh, or identify it into like art, which is the the uh, manifest, right? Um, so let me see. So sound, 
light, the environment, the environment is light, uh, because it's energy. Spirit and soul are different, but they're also one and the same. Spirit is more pure. It's absolute pure. It's absolute purity, whereas the soul is, uh, is, uh, is kind of like a corrupted, uh, net of planes, right? Or something like this, a nexus, which it's, uh, it's filtering the light of the source and, um, allowing things to stay manifest, right? Otherwise, if it wasn't there, things wouldn't be able to, what, what, what is going on right now wouldn't be able to exist. So, um, you can, you can go into that, uh, cessation as you connect yourself with spirit and the purity of energy. But, uh, there's things that you're not ready as a, as a body and a mind to, uh, to experience yet which is the, the soul is there to filter that stuff out so that you, uh, you don't like, you don't break down as a, as an organism, you know, otherwise you would break down or you would just self-destruct or something, you know? So, so the soul is here to, to protect it. It's here to, uh, I don't want to say protect. It's here to keep us in check in a way you know, uh, maybe like womb us or something. That's most definitely what it could be. Um, yeah, it can be like a womb for us or like a type of, a type of, um, um, I'll just say womb, right? So that we can, within it, slowly grow um and 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 grow more towards the sun or the source right which which is the soul but it's it's a little uh complicated because soul and spirit are different but they're also one and the same you know it's like um i can't really talk i can't really talk too much about it because it doesn't um i don't really have the word for the words for it but the soul is is the environment it's the sun uh the soul it pretty much uh it help it wombs us and it filters out the purity energy the pure energy ener pure energy is great for you it's needed but uh if everything was just released to you you would destroy yourself completely right uh so most definitely the, it's filtrating It's like if you were to to throw yourself into the sun, you would most definitely uh, die away, right? So you you kind of got to stay at a certain distance in order to keep the current form that you have, you know. Uh, unless you're willing to go through through the death which is decided for you as well by the soul or even by spirit. So um, spirit is awareness, soul is, is light. So how do they differ? Light is self-conscious, right? It's a weird system, but um, If you connect yourself with the environment, which is the soul, because the sun, the soul, and the environment are one and the same because they are growing each other, then you can uh, slowly connect yourself with what the soul is as you uh, begin to self-reflect, which connecting yourself with the sun is self-reflection because the sun is the point of awareness, 
<clears throat> so the point of awareness when you come to connect yourself with it you're uh you're already in a type of self-reflection right so the solar energy itself as it begins to erect or it begins to um uh, as it begins to spring, you know, during springtime, you are uh, definitely given the, the pre-organizational energies in order to come into the, uh, the, the, the blossoming of soul right so you can you can connect yourself with the sun and the soul is slowly going to uh blossom within you right because you can there you're you're connected to the soul everybody everybody is connected to the soul and everybody has a soul the soul is the eternal aspect of ourself Right, the body and the mind, they both die or they both can die, but the soul is uh, eternal in its nature and the soul is what is shed, you know. But as you, uh, if you connect yourself with the soul, then you can. Uh, you can come to experience the eternity, right? And I was talking about this yesterday. Um, so you can connect yourself with the sun and you naturally come to self-reflect. And that self-reflection is going to lead you to um, revitalization, right? Uh, I want to talk about how the, the soul has, how the soul is slowly... Uh, taken you know in a way it's um you're kind of disconnected from the soul when you are younger and you start going through school a lot of the things that school has to teach you are just really teachings that are uh, subliminally distancing you from the soul and the connection of the soul you know um so so you then start um you send you then start getting stuck or, or you start getting caught in the uh the mind and the body right and i i've seen this in in a lot of children they are uh they they start to lack a lot of life as they start going through school you know, and they start losing connection to multiple, the, the, the multiple planes of existence, you know, uh, they kind of start losing their magic, their energies, they start uh, becoming more corrupt, you know, and that's why you would want to, you want to uh, connect with the soul in order to keep them purified through spirit, right? Um but they're disconnecting you from the soul or they're corrupting your energy or your vessel so that you can't connect with the soul right so all they all they're doing is teaching you that in 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 the school systems they're teaching uh they're teaching low vibrational or they're gifting you low vibrational informations Right, and these lower vibrational information start to uh, consume you and corrupt your your vessel, your uh, your body and your mind. Right, so uh, then if this is corrupted and it's imbalanced or misaligned, then you uh, are disconnected from from for one the source, but you're also disconnected to the soul. Right, which allows you to derive the, the, the energy of source uh, because you gotta, you gotta align yourself on multiple different levels 
within the soul in order to uh, in order to purify yourself absolutely right so they uh, so they uh, let me see they do this type of thing to pretty much keep people away from the soul um, this is why you start losing your connection to the dream scape um, and the various different planes, you, you are not taught about them, for one, which they do exist, and they are very integral to know and uh, integrate yourself into and exist on those different or multiple planes in order to be able to evolve, you know, uh, but it's not taught in the school systems, and what is taught in the school systems are things that are subliminally keeping you away from learning those integral things, right? Uh, or fundamental, like fundamental domains is what they are uh, to, to reside in and integrate yourself into, right? Or uh, <clears throat> work from these, from the, from the higher planes on to the lower right uh but but you're disconnected from them the soul is uh you're disconnected from it and you can't you can't uh, connect yourself with purities of energy right and then slowly as you grow older you begin to uh, you begin to decay away and 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 decay by this, I mean, um, you slowly, you still, you slowly lose your, your lust or not your lust, your, your wonder for life or, uh, your light, you know, your, lum your inner illumination, you slowly lose it. You lose, um, your spirit, right? Because your connection to spirit has already been severed by the time you're five years old so uh by the time you're 20 you've lost the connection to spirit and if if your body is completely disconnected to spirit it begins to uh dissolve away right and this is why we're not really able to live as long as we once could which we were once able to live uh, hundreds of years at least you know uh, but this is just because of the, 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 the higher energies of spirit allowing the body to thrive, you know, um, and, and that energy is capable of allowing us to live for, for millennia, right? So, uh, since we were distanced from the, the eternal sun, we lost that mortality rate or that uh, that length of life, you know, and everything has been kind of just corrupted, and uh, we're we're lo we we lost a lot of knowledge, or we aren't living by a lot of the knowledge that is absolutely fundamental for us to be able to uh, expand into higher dimensions, right? Uh, but it's also coming back slowly because the, the, the earth is moving towards the solar or the, the, the central sun or uh, the Milky Way center, right? Which is where the, the entire galaxy is deriving its, um, its, uh, its energy, which is the heart. We're slowly moving towards the heart within ourselves as a collective. So we can slowly begin to derive more energy. The core of the earth is um, connected with the core of the, the Milky Way. <clears throat> so as it moves closer, it starts to uh, get more and more powerful, you know, and, and uh, our hearts or our core is connected with the core of the earth, you know, because it's all fractal and uh, everything is growing in a fractal designing right uh the core the core corazon or the corazon is our core so uh the core of the earth the corazon of the earth the heart 
is uh, the same thing as our heart center. So uh, the more that we move towards the, the, the center of the Milky Way, the Earth's core or the Earth's consciousness is moving closer towards its own core and our con or our consciousness it's not really fixated in the in in the mind but just consciousness is um is coming more into the core into the into the into the heart center right so this is going to allow us to uh come back into the higher dimensions once again and purify ourselves right and this is the destruction process the destruction of shiva is um is the death of the the uh the purification of energy right because the body and mind they can't exist because um it's too feeble of a formulation to be able to sustain its own sustain itself within uh a certain radiance of of the eternal sun right a spirit so the soul is there to to kind of uh, oscillate all that or maybe even mediate all that, you know, so that it doesn't just immediately happen, you know, uh, but more so it happens in a very artistic way and it happens in a very beautiful way. Um, and you could connect, you, you can definitely, you can definitely accelerate that, you know, uh, and I want to say going into your dreams as deep as you can go is going to be the best way to do this maybe but um you can also just ride the universe the universal wavelengths because uh in those you can also you can also get all the 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 experiential mathematics right to uh derive synthesize the the experiences and and accelerate a process like this as well um which is simple if you just resonate with the electromagnetic field because it's all emanating, all permeating, right? Um, so, so, so the soul is uh, is the sun, right? You connect yourself with the sun, connect yourself with the light body, the Merkaba, activate the Merkaba. And uh, you can slowly start blossoming or at least expressing the soul's fragrance, right? Because it's like a flower, because the Merkaba is geometry and it can match up to uh, many different flowers, right? So you can, um, you can definitely emit these fragrance if you're able to just fluctuate the light body or, or just fluctuate your life, right? Uh, your life energy, but it's been taken from you. That's what a lot of the school systems are doing there or a lot of the system period, the matrix modern day is just taking a lot of the energy and uh, creating power struggles and imbalances, you know? And this is one uh, serpent of of uh, of many, or maybe at least two, right? Uh, the Earth's Kundalini is just moving around, fluctuating, right? But this is a good thing because it's allowing us to uh, raise our Kundalini energy as it's fluctuating, right? So activate the light body. You can do this by by aligning yourself properly so that once the alignment is there the geometrical alignment then the energy is heightened and as the energy is heightening the consciousness level is heightening and if the consciousness le level is heightening that means that you're connecting or getting closer with the spiritual energies or spirit right uh, the eternal sun the eternal soul Right, so um, that's going to be it for today's video. I do thank everybody for watching. Once again, peace out, one love, and have a great evening.